Gretsch G220 Junior in walnut. Very beautiful. I like it. Playing through a Fender Rumble 200 and I barely have it turned up. But just to make sure This one is very lightweight. Once again, it is very affordable at $2.99 here at Sam Ash in Atlanta. There's another look at the base, just giving you guys a quick run through. Everything looks very, it's a, a very minimalistic design here. Um, you've got your two, I want to say these are your. So you've got your main volume here. And this is probably just your tone. Or bass, whatever. And then uh, you've got this toggle switch. Now I have it in the middle because that's where I like to put it with everything. I always like things right down the middle. I like balance. Here it is with it all the way. This is with it up, okay? Wow, this bass is super light too. It's ultra light. So now I put it all the way down. By the way, these two knobs, they're turned up, okay? demoing these uh, like these five string basses or anything like that you know just the, the heavy low end I'll try to just kind of ring out those notes so let me just let you hear that real quick I mean it's a well-built bass for 300 bucks Very lightweight, very, very, uh, very easy on the hands, you know, it's not a struggle to get anything out of it, and I love the tone, it's just, I mean, like I said, it's not a slap pop tap bass, I just do that to please the masses, and with that said, 
I'm gonna give you guys my word moving forward. I don't see any right now, but I will start always incorporating the pick into these demos because I want you guys to see what it's, as a matter of fact, give me a minute. Let me see if I can come up with a pick. I dug around, look what I found on the floor. I looked and there it was right underneath this amp that I'm playing through, so. We'll just show you uh, all the way up on this. looking bass plays well great deal for just $2.99 over here at Sam Ash something that you guys may not know or you don't know about me is that by nature by heart I'm actually a lefty but yet I have never ever this is the very very first time here in real time that I am trying out a left-handed Fender precision bass that's going for a pretty penny it's going for 17 49 some bass players why do you make such a big deal whether it be a left-handed guitarist or usually this is the guitar players <laughs> gotta pick on you guys but anyway uh they'll say things like why is it such a big deal to you that i play left-handed i just tell them because you know i do a lot of things left-handed and i was forced to switch to my right hand for handwriting in the first grade. It created some strengths and some weaknesses. So in a lot of things I'm ambidextrous, but with the bass, I obviously am not. <laughs> yeah. 
it's crazy. I just have to do this. Wow, it's, I don't even know where to go. Don't give up, lefties. Find yourselves a left-handed instrument. It doesn't have to cost this much money and play it because I just think it's so cool when I see left-handed players like Paul McCartney and there are a lot of you out there. Can't go without mentioning Hendrix, of course, but, but yeah, it is not easy to play um, left-handed when you've been playing right. It's so weird, it's such a weird feeling. I just felt like I should show it, try to play it, I can't. What's cool is I kind of want to pluck with this hand. <laughs> All right. That's it. Left-handed Fender Precision. Pretty cool. More power to the lefties. <laughs>